this is Brett from Link Digital, and I'm going to show you today um, GitHub Codespaces. Now, GitHub Codespaces is being around a little while now, and it's a, it's a development environment, um, first and foremost, um, that is a development a remote development environment that you um, you have running in the cloud, and you can either develop on within a browser or you can connect one of your ID, your IDE to um, to that remote development environment. Um, you can do both, but I'm going to show you um, how we do this um, within a browser. So the first thing we do is we want to, actually, we don't want to do master. We want to uh, run a version of CCAN um, that isn't the master build. So we're going to, I've, I've chosen 2.10.2. Now, all of the 2.10 versions um, of CCAN work with Codespaces plus uh, one of the two of the 2.9 versions, 2.9.10 and 2.9.9. Um, you can tell what versions um, are supported um, that support Codespaces by if they include this directory, which is the .dev container directory, because of all the configuration for Codespaces is within this file here. So the first thing we do is we go to the big green code button and we would normally see this local tab here, but now we also see a Codespaces tab. Um, and we hit this green button, which is we want to create a code space on CCAN, CCAN 2.10.2. And that will set up um, the building of our code space um, in the cloud. We will see some log files start now. Um, this poll process is pretty quick. It takes five minutes, six minutes maximum. Um, and we have a fully functioning CCAN development environment but we also have CCAN running so we can we could use this for some sort of demo or um, ch just checking anything out within a within so instead of actually building your own CCAN on a virtual machine um, we can actually run this in the cloud and have it up and running pretty quickly um, very very handy for development but also handy for just having a look at CCAN um, so we just need to wait patiently until we have our code space up and running. Um, we see that it's um, setting up all the system libraries within our development container. Um, we are also now pulling down the supporting containers, Solar, the database, Redis, Data Pusher. Um, so the actual application will be running within Docker containers um, in the cloud. Okay, so those supporting containers have started. Now I think what's next is, yes, here we go. We are installing CCAN. We're installing the CCAN dependencies first. Um, yeah, as I mentioned, it will take around five minutes to build the code space from scratch. This is part of the free tier um, of GitHub. So once you have a GitHub account, um, you can run Codespaces for free. It gives you a certain number of hours that the Codespace is running. Um, I think it might be 120 hours per month uh, is free. And, and and I can't remember exactly how much how many volume how much volume you're allowed with the free tier as well. 
So here we, the first change we see really is we have our, uh, our remote uh, development environment here, which is, it looks very similar to VS Code, if you know VS Code. Um, we have our terminal output here, which is standard out, standard error. Um, we are running, this is probably the most important file in the configuration for code spaces, the dev container.json file, which gives you a blueprint of instructions that um, that it needs. And we see here that it's now running the setup.sh file. Um, so in the dev container.json file, we see um, a post create command, which is the setup.sh, which is that set up there, set up.sh file. And, and now we are running this post attach command, which is ccan run, which is ccan, ccan has started. So that was pretty quick. And here we see, we have a simple browser running in this new pane here within our development environment. Um, and we see the output, um, our standard out, standard error down here. So what I'll do now is I'll open um, the application in, an, in another tab on my browser. And just to make it clearer, to show you what I'm doing. Now, first thing I do is I will log in. Now we have a, a login that's part of the configuration for CCAN code spaces. And the login is CCAN underscore admin user. We create, so we want to add a data set. But of course, first thing we need to do is we need to create an organization. So, and I'll call that, oops, if I can spell it, um, pigeon HQ, and I'll upload a file as well. And so we'll, we'll create the pigeon HQ organization. Now, the next thing we do, we want to add a data set and we will call this test set one. We will set the visibility to public. Now we will add the data and we'll just upload a really simple um, CSV file called samplepeople.csv. We'll finish that. Okay, so here we see a view of our CSV file, hopefully. Maybe. No. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so we can see a data pusher pushing that CSV file um, into the data store and Yeah. Oh, and here's the view. Finally, it came back. Um, and this is, uh, it's just a view of the, um, of the CSV file that we, um, we, we uploaded. Okay. So that's a really simple, um, way of being able to bring up a CCAN environment on 
in the cloud for free and I will do some more videos on making changes to this um, to this instance of CCAN and we'll be able to see those changes reflected um, in our running application quickly and I'll install some extensions as well just to show you how easy that is. So thanks for watching and um, we'll see you again next time.